Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby and I'm back again with another disturbing episode. What I'm about to share is something that is going on in China at this very moment and I will need each and every one of you to like and share this video so that we put light on this matter because yesterday as I'm speaking a flight from China landed in Ghana to bring test kits to Ghana but Africans in China are going through this which is this happening. Yeah, hello. Yeah, my boy. Uh, how are you, my brother? Uh, really, it's kind of confusing right now what's going on in China, okay? Uh, I just want to send this message to you, Mr. Maya. Uh, I want to report to you what's going on in China. Uh, because today, uh, really, what these people are doing to Africans, especially black guys, all the black Africans, all the Africans in Guangzhou, to be precisely. Like, they're chasing everybody away. And then even the people that came to buy goods, they quarantined them for 15 days. And after the 15 days, the hotels have to tell them to check out of the hotel. And when they check out of the hotel, they cannot even have get another hotel to lodge in. Nobody, they don't accept black. They chase everybody away. They want everybody to move away. No flight, no home, no food, nothing. You cannot go into the restaurant. You cannot go into the supermarket. You cannot even go into the hospitals. So for you to understand the, the, the situation that our people are in right now, and I hope our leaders, they will see what is going on right here in China. So please help us to spread this message all over so that people will know what's going on in China. Okay? So anybody that, if you know anybody in China, you can confirm. I'm right now here in China, so I'm just reporting this right now. Thank you very much. They are just not aware. They are they just not aware. They don't allow us to They don't even allow us to They are just, we are just walking on the road. You see, we are just, they cannot give us house. They cannot give us hotel. They cannot provide a place we can stay. They are just following us. You see, they are just following us. They don't want us to stay one place. After we have spent 15 days in the hotel, after quarantine, quarantine us for 15 days. They cannot allow us to stay one place. Chinese, Chinese full Africa. Chinese leave Africa. Africa no do anything, but now Chinese come here for sure us land. Chinese Africa everywhere Chinese. Don't worry. In Ahua, you can have your name. Chinese Africa, Chinese everywhere. Look at what they are doing. Don't worry. Chinese everywhere, Chinese Africa, Chinese my country. Chinese for my country. Chinese for my country. Chinese leave my country. We no do Chinese anything. Chinese Africa everywhere. Chinese. Chinese my country. Chinese leave Africa. But Africa no talk. Look at rain, beat us your country. Look at rain, beat us. No problem. Chinese, 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 my country. You see, Chinese, my country, kill. You see, Chinese, they my country. Chinese, Africa. Chinese, the whole world. Chinese, my country. Don't worry. You see. In a full area, they are member. They Chinese, you know, my country. Many Chinese, my country. Chinese, my country. Chinese, full everywhere. Don't worry. Chinese, my country. Chinese, you know, my country. Look at what I do. Chinese, my country. Look at you people pushing us in the rain. It's very wicked of you. Chinese, my country. Wicked people. Chinese Africa, Chinese full everywhere, nobody thought Chinese. Chinese full my country, Chinese full everywhere. What do people do? Very wicked. I really don't know what Africans have done to China to deserve this kind of hate from Chinese people. This is the situation that when you travel within Africa, every country that you go to, you will see a Chinese person. Which means that they love Africa because of the natural resources that we have, but not Africa. As I'm speaking from my six years experience in China. If you have ever lived in China before, you will know what I'm talking about that. The hate towards Africans or the hate towards black people in China, it's super real. We spoke to over a dozen Chinese people to find out why they oppose the bill.
，各个国家、各个文明的发展都不是特别好。好的，点解佢哋过嚟，即系话咁中意去玩中国的女仔咧？呃，他们主要主要反对的是，嗯，不同意黑人进入到中国的这个地界上来。嗯，因为他们觉得中国人会祸害中国的女孩。These people came to do business. They are there to buy things and go back to their country. But now you forbid them to sleep in hotels. Where do you expect them to sleep? So sad to see brothers sleeping under bridges in China. Yet in Africa we worship these people. Yet in Africa. We see these people as our gods, and the reason behind all this is so funny. They are discriminating against foreigners, specifically Africans, all because of COVID-19, which started in China. It doesn't make sense. Most of you were even running to Africa to hide because you realized that Africa was the safest place to be during the outbreak of COVID-19 in China. And now, the table turned, and you guys. Are what discriminating against Africans? I don't know why sometimes Chinese people act like robots. I just don't get it. It looks as if these people are being controlled. Now Africans can't go to public places in China. Hey, probably me. I cannot enter. Hmm? I cannot enter. No, some men in the room. Why go? You cannot enter. This is crazy. You know the people, the 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 the, the Chinese people, they call they call the they call the police. Some of the this guy called the police to come and arrest me because I've taken the bus. This guy he he got he called the police. Or yeah, he called the police. That uh, I have taken the bus. Uh, right. So now he telling me that we should go. I don't know what the what the problem is. I took a bus, and then they called the police for me because I'm a foreigner. I'm a black man. You see how it's so painful when somebody races against you for what you have you haven't done. You know, you are not. You haven't done anything. Chinese people are always looking for opportunity to discriminate against Africans. Whatever that goes through their mind is like, we are helping Africa. There is nothing like China helping Africa. I have lived in China for six years, and I can tell you that whatever is happening between Africa and China, that you guys call it win-win cooperation, China is. In Africa, because of their selfish gains, because a Chinese person will not have a friend without a mutual gain. So anyone who have lived in China will testify what I'm telling you that China can never be your friend without him knowing that he's gaining something from you. It even goes down to the people. A Chinese friend will be your friend just because of what, what they are gonna gain from you. Wake up, Africans! Today, I got so many messages from African students living in China, and they were telling me that what well, we just got a notice that we're gonna get tested. Of which they don't know what that is about. And the following day, that was yesterday, the test began. We're gonna take the test. It's it's gonna be a Q-tip. It's gonna reach to your throat, so you're gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay? okay. Can you take off your uh, your mask? Okay. So if if I want it's it's just is is it just a test? Nothing more involved, yes, right? Just a test. Just a test. Yes. Okay. And the reason behind this test is that an African in Xiaobelu, Guangzhou, Xiaobelu is a place where foreigners buy and sell over there. It's just that the African population in Xiaobelu is a lot, but that does not give you the chance to test only Africans. And for those Africans married to Chinese people, they went to their houses and test them without testing their wives and kids. There are African students who are staying with people from Mexico, staying with people from America. They went there without testing them. I thought this disease is not racist like Chinese people. Please, my brother, COVID-19 is not racist. 
So stop being racist. It's happening right now. It's really sad. And I just want each and every one of you watching this video to use your social media platforms to share this video so that this video will fall in the hands of the right people to help our fellow brothers and sisters living in China.